Now, your 13 first alert weather forecast. Well, it was same old, same old in western Wisconsin once again today as we had the cloud cover with those temperatures back into the 30s, even several spots this afternoon climbing into the low and mid 40s. No weather concerns this evening if you're heading out and about. The weather is going to stay dry. Uh, radar has been indicating uh, some precipitation, but we do have a pocket of low level dry air. So much of that not actually reaching us here at the ground. The clouds going to stick around for the next few hours, but later tonight, those are going to thin out. We're going to turn mostly clear and temperatures will be falling through the 30s. Let's take a live look out on Hastings Way from our Nicolay Bank Sky Cam because yes, we are seeing some sunshine out there in the distance and we have thin cloud cover over Minnesota. Like I said, uh, later tonight, that's what's going to be heading our way. Our current temperature in Eau Claire at 41 degrees. So we're running nearly 10 degrees above average this afternoon. A south wind at nine miles per hour. That is making it feel just slightly colder. Our wind chill right now in the mid 30s. In fact, western Wisconsin is the mildest across the entire state. We have readings into the 40s, but you look further to the east. That's where those temperatures are cooler, mainly into the 30s. 33 right now in Rhinelander, 34 in Walsall. 37 in Wisconsin Rapids, 35 right now in Oshkosh. Let's go ahead and take a peek to the west because for those of you that really enjoy the warmer weather, you're really going to like the air mass out there. Check this out. We've got widespread readings into the 50s and 60s right now, and there's a couple of reasons for that. One, we do have surface winds uh, from the west and southwest. That's helping bring in some mild air uh, from the Pacific Ocean here, not to mention in the upper levels of the atmosphere, we have this building ridge of high pressure smack dab over the central United States, and that too is reinforcing the warmer air and allowing for what we call warm air advection. In fact, tomorrow in Eau Claire, we're going to be talking record-breaking temperatures. Our record tomorrow in Eau Claire is 49 degrees set back in 1916, and I am very confident that we're going to be breaking that record. Our forecast high for tomorrow is 52 degrees. We may actually even overachieve that a little bit as we are expecting abundant sunshine. So we'll see what happens, but I'm almost certain that we're going to be breaking that record. Just off to our west, we do have this warm front that is going to slide through here this evening. We do have that broad southwesterly flow. So despite the cloud cover, the southwesterly flow is what has actually helped bring those temperatures into the 40s for today. But for tonight, Skies are going to turn mostly clear. We'll have quiet weather through the overnight hours. Now with temperatures cooling near our dew points, could wake up to some patchy fog tomorrow morning. Outside of that, mainly sunny skies throughout the day. Perhaps some clouds rolling in towards the later afternoon hours. And still, not too much to talk about Thursday night. Uh, we are going to have more quiet weather and then a mix of sun and clouds as we do wrap up the work week on Friday. So for tonight, we are going to drop to a low temperature of 27. Otherwise, tomorrow we do make it up to around 52. Winds from the southeast increasing at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Check out Friday. We're still in the low 50s there, but then the bottom does drop out this weekend. And we are watching a weather system that's going to track up from the southwest. That may bring some snowfall on Saturday. Still some details to figure out there. Otherwise, temperatures mm -hmm. seasonable into the 30s. Yeah, you guys keep bumping up those temperatures for tomorrow. Yeah, it's <laughs> got quite the warm air mass. And like I said, very uncommon uh, for December in our neck of the woods. So something we have to really enjoy. Honestly, yeah. no severe weather. But this kind of brings me back to December 15th, 2021, when we had that very mild air and all those tornadoes. Tornado but, breakout, yeah. Yes, luckily no tornadoes this time around. Good. All yes. right. Thanks, Derek. Mm -hmm. Coming up, a man responsible for a number